So I did my PhD at the University of uh, Aberdeen in, in Scotland. Um, and now for my postdoc research, I'm working on uh, trying to understand the, the temperature um, patterns of rivers and what factors may influence the thermal behavior of, of rivers through uh, remote sensing techniques and especially using airborne um, infrared imagery. So to me, um, interdisciplinary here is, is really enhanced by the, the large and diverse uh, community of researchers and, and, and within and around the university. Uh, so you have access to um, people specialized in sort of any discipline that you may um, have to use for your research. Um, and in my case, for instance, I have to use um, techniques that are more related to remote sensing. I, I need basic knowledge of geomorphology, but also try to integrate some parts of physics or chemistry to try to understand how temperature is actually um, working in rivers. Uh, and this is not just limited to the people who are currently here within the, uh, the university or around the university, but the site has also become a, a sort of hub where we have lots of visiting researchers, uh, from students to um, um, high profile professors from everywhere in the world. So it's really a, a nice place to get to meet and, and talk to uh, a, a wide range of, of, of researchers. So when it comes to um, research on rivers and fluvial dynamics, um, most of what we do um, has some sort of application. And, uh, and for instance, on the, on the topic of river um, temperature, it's important to understand the many factors uh, that influence the distribution of temperature or or why, what causes a, a river to, um, to warm or, or to cool down uh, in, in, or warm in the summer so that we can better target the solutions um, at the hand to limit, for instance, the warming of rivers with, with climate change and so on. Um, and then in turn, to inform institutions and managers and decision makers uh, on solutions that we can, we can use to tackle these issues. And, and actually the, the link between river science and river management um, is becoming uh, really strong at the moment and the motivation to work together with with managers is not just one-sided but it really comes from both sides 